All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have literally so much to go through. We have a project that could do easily a 10X. We've got some FUD to go through and of course we're gonna go through the market, Bitcoin's price and everything that I think is going to happen next in this market. Remember, nothing in my videos is financial advice and first of all, jumping over to coin market cap to see what's going on with this market. A $1.18 trillion market with an increase of 0.14% today. Arbitrum down another 2.5%. I told you guys in yesterday's video that I actually closed out 100% of my Arbitrum position because I really didn't like what they did, right? If you wanna find out what they did, watch this video right here. But moving on from that, we got Bitcoin up around a percent just in the last hour, but down overall in 24 hours. But the interesting thing on everyone's mind is we have Dogecoin moving into position number seven, overtaking Cardano there, becoming a market cap of 13.9 billion dollars, a top seven cryptocurrency, only ones that are bigger, XRP, BNB, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. So actually the fifth largest cryptocurrency, not a stable coin, because of course we have USDT here and we have USDC. So with that said, why is Dogecoin up 39% in seven days and 27% in just 24 hours? Well, if you didn't know already, Elon Musk actually changed its logo to a picture of Doge. And we can see this picture here that Elon Musk tweeted of Doge being pulled over by a police officer saying it's an old photo. Now, of course, this is all based around meme and hype, but guys, this is what I've been saying to you for a while now. I personally hold Dogecoin because of this exact moment. And here's a tweet from this guy here. All these hours wasted studying charts and researching product projects when all I had to do was buy Doge. Now, it's ridiculous. I don't hold a very large percentage position of Dogecoin in comparison to the rest of my portfolio. But as I've been saying, having exposure to something that all it takes is a tweet from Elon Musk to absolutely pump 29% is huge. So if you had a decent chunk of money in that, you would be sitting on a very nice profit right now. With that said, what would I personally be doing now? Mm, potentially taking some profits off the table because this is a pump, right? A really fast pump. Now, I do think it could run some more here, but if you're worried that we may have a pullback from here and you wanna protect your downside, you can take some profits off the table today to protect your downside. Now, wherever you wanna do that is totally up to you. And even Alex Becker himself, one of the biggest YouTubers in this space says, he hates to say it, but Dogecoin can easily clean low risk 10X next bull run. This is what I think. I think it has definitely the opportunity to do this sort of thing. So having a little bit of exposure to this, you know, $1,000 would turn into $10,000, $100 into $1,000, which would be awesome for something that's relatively low risk. Of course, it holds a lot more risk, in my opinion, than something like Bitcoin, but the upside could be significantly more than Bitcoin. That's my own personal opinion. Remember, I'm just the guy sitting in a room here in Santorini. With that said, the price of Bitcoin today, moving back into our zone of resistance, potentially having put in a double top there on the daily chart. We'll wait to see if we can break above the 29,000 region here. I would see a little bit more bullish momentum coming in. Hopefully that does happen. The market does look pretty strong. You can see last time that we were rejected from this resistance region, we did push back down but the last time it happened we pushed down significantly further which could be showing more signs of strength coming into the market here right now until we break below this level of support or this level of resistance i'm not really decided what exactly i think is going to happen next i want to see some confirmation in the market before i get more excited now on top of that we did also have the dxy trending downwards yesterday which is of course good for our risk on assets and the greed and fear index continues in greed as we speak. So like I said yesterday, and like I've been saying for the last few weeks, when we're in greed, this is an opportunity to maybe book some profits, but it also means that smaller cap projects may have an opportunity to run if we do continue with this greed momentum. But remember guys, book those profits. I'm gonna continue to be your voice of reason here in the market, going into the next bull run, whatever it is, when you have profits, book them. Don't listen to the people who tell you to diamond hands because that's not how we make money in this market. Yes, you can miss out on some upside, but also you can protect your downside, right? That's what I personally do in this market. Now, with that said, with that said, there is a lot of opportunity here in the market. One of them being a new ecosystem that's just launched, the ZK Sync era mainnet. This now has $50 million worth of TVL. 24 hour change is 13%. So this is growing day by day. There are people 
people coming here and looking at this project and getting invested into it. I found a couple of projects here that I've decided to dip my toes into. If you wanna stay up to date when I make any investment, of course, the link to my Patreon is down there in the description, but there are opportunities in all of these ecosystems and uh, hopefully we can make some really sweet gains here. Now to address some of the FUD that we've seen recently, Binance's BNB and Bitcoin tumble after crypto Twitter personality Kobe's wild guess. So what he did was Kobe over on Twitter posted a hash this is like a code and that code led people to believe that there was a red notice against CZ. Basically meaning every authority in the world would be going out to try and capture him or something along those lines, right? It's an Interpol red notice. Now, of course, this does seem to be completely fake, fabricated, fabricated fear, uncertainty and doubt created to scare the market. CZ himself saying that this image has been photoshopped and then pointing again to number four, which is him saying, ignore the FUD out there. So of course you guys have to make your own decisions here. Do you think that this was a tar another attack targeted at CZ or the overall cryptocurrency market? Who do you reckon might have been behind this? But interesting nonetheless, again, guys, don't get shaken out by what's happening day to day. It's much better just to have a long-term mindset and invest into projects that you genuinely believe in if they're for the long term or things that have a lot of hype around them that you can potentially make some short-term profits in just like something like Dogecoin. That's what I personally use it for. At 28% gain here at 10 cents, it could be an opportunity to book some of those profits or if you think it is going to a dollar, you may very well get another 10x just like Alex Becker thinks is very easy and low risk going into the future. Let me know what you're personally doing with your Dogecoin down there in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.